Okay, since we have been given uh, uh, the matrix, which is uh, A is equal to 7 or P 9 5 P and also there is a statement which says find okay uh, the value of of P given the determinant so the determinant D is equal to negative one, two so in the question or the statement they have given us uh, that the determinant of this matrix is negative 2. So how do we now find the value of P? Okay. So we want to find the value of P. We know that if you have a matrix, this is A, B, C, and D here. And you have been asked to find the determinant of this matrix. Let's say this is matrix C, matrix P. And then they say find the determinant of matrix P. What you need to do is this, is to multiply the major diagonal minus the multiplication of minor diagonal. So this is what we do. You get this, okay? You multiply them, these two, minus the multiplication of these two. And it will look like this, A times B. Uh, sorry, D. This is not B, it's D. A times D. These two minus C times B. So C times B. So you start from the, num uh, the values which are here. So you say A times D minus C times B. And when we say A times D, the answer will be A D minus C times B, it will be C B. So this is our determinant. So the determinant for this matrix is this one. So now let's try to use this same idea. We use this idea to find the value of P. So how will it look like? Since they have already given us the answer, it's more like this. 7, 4, P, 9, 5, P, which is the matrix over here. And they have said the determinant of this matrix is equal to what? Negative 2. So we use the idea of finding the determinant where we say uh, 7 times 5P. So 7 times 5p minus 9 times 4p 9 times 4p which is equal to negative 2 which is our determinant so this is the procedure of finding the determinant so um, the next thing here will be to just work out here we just solve this will give us uh, uh, 35p when you multiply 7 times 5p is 35 minus 9 times 9 times uh, uh, 4p it will be 36p which is equal to negative 2 so now we can solve here if you are able to see nicely we can solve here 35p let me put it somewhere here here. So 5p minus 36p, it's a negative p, which is equal to negative 2. So here, since we have a negative, we need to get rid of this negative by dividing by negative 1, negative 1. So negative, negative will cancel, will remain with p this side. And the negative here, negative, will remain with 2. So the value of p is 2. Thank you. We go to the next question. Okay, since we have found the value of P, so the value of P which I have found is 2. 
and the determinant of this matrix is negative 2. So this has just been given in the question. This part is there in the question, in the statement. They have said the determinant of this matrix is negative 2. Well, the value of P, the P of just found it, is 2. So now they continue with the next question where they are saying, hence find the inverse. So inverse, inverse. So the inverse, the inverse of uh, this matrix, how do we find the inverse? In order for us to find the inverse of this matrix, we need to get the same matrix and uh, we put 2, where there is P here, we put the 2 we have found, or we found. So you see the way it looks? This here shows that we are multiplying. So it will be 7. Here 2 times, uh, uh, 4 times 2, which is 8. Here it's 9. 5 times 2 is uh, 10. So this is uh, how the actual matrix looks like. So since we have the actual matrix, we need to find the inverse, which is A inverse. A inverse. You need to get 1 over negative 2. This negative 2. 1 over negative 2 multiplied by, you get now your matrix. This major diagonal, you switch. You make 10 come on top. And then 7 where 10 was. Here, so you just switch the positions of this, and then this one, since it's positive 9, you change the sign, it will be negative 9. This one is positive 8, you change the sign, it looks like this. So like this, it means you're finished.